Welcome to Texas Motor Speedway for race number 40. Yeah, uh, 40 races and we're still not done. It's the opening of the round of eight. And yeah, Hillary Sanchez and Alexander Hyder start on our front row. And there's the full qualifying results. Sammy Saber Jr. is the only driver to score any bonus points, so he's the points leader entering this race. So, the last round, or not the last round, the the round to get into the championship four and it's all gonna come down at Daytona and yeah that's it drivers start your engines engines fired up ready to go here so there's Hyder in the nine car Highest of the qualifiers, the playoff drivers. The, uh, the 32, Derek Edison, right behind him. Next we have, it's going to be a bit far back, Ryan Butcher in the 11, maybe not that far back. Joe Jefferson in the 18, followed by Tony Green in the 42. Noodles in the 36. And there's Sammy Sabre Jr. in the 10 car, and the lowest will be the three of Grace Nesby to qualify as last for today's race. Keith Stevens pushed it, gave it all he he could at the end. He almost got it. He almost got it. He was lagging back for the last several laps, so like it was two, three laps to go, three laps to go around there. Made his way up, couldn't make it, finished fifth. Good run though. He almost did it. So, yeah, so all the other points have also. There, keep saying so. All the points have been reset for both drivers that made it in and has been eliminated. So we fight for fifth place still. Green flag is out. We're underway here at Texas. Our one and only event this late in the season. But we're racing here. Two car got off to a good start. Ready to that, the 51 got off to a bad start. Gives Hillary Sanchez a big push. And get clear of the nine car. Texas with the new configuration. Still pretty new. It's going to be a one groove racetrack. Yeah, Texas is not, not one of my favorites. So Sanchez leads the first lap. Lazy Vitor is gonna take the lead on the inside. Sanchez trying to make it make a run on the on the top. Some grip was added up on the outside. Who knows? Maybe we can get a multi groove racetrack. Three wide. 47 still has the lead, but can Sanchez hang on? Tim Randolph gets knocked out of the way. No, I don't think so. I don't think it's enough grip. Kenny Johnson in the 13 will lead the second lap. 43, the there's the 11, still pretty wild though, but it'll be the, the dominant inside line. Oh, trouble, oh, Steven, Sasu, and Francis Hawes, well, big save, oh, there goes a 95, now he goes around. Almost. Coming to the first caution flag will be the 43 car. Oh, we got another one. Oh, this one's going to be in trouble. We see the nine cars in it. We got ourselves two wrecks to take a look at. And we'll do that right now. The 43 car is a race leader. Almost had it saved. They're four wide, pretty much. Like, maybe like, well, no. They wanted to go four wide. They were just too close to each other. So Stevens goes sideways. Everything looks all right. Joe Jefferson gets caught up, and then the 36 gets in the back of him. Just enough to spin him right around. He backs it into the 38. And it was the only one who spun around in this first wreck that triggered the yellow. Then we move up around here to 9 and the 77. Tim Randolph who was eliminated in the first round. He gets into the 9 car. Going off a of 4. They both, well, yeah, Tim Randolph went in the grass. Matt Haas in the 8. In the wall. Aaron Carlson the first one to hit. The nine car is going to back it in hard. Derek Gettison, we see 
So a lot of playoff contenders. See the 10 card in as well. The 3. 3 missed it. See Tony Green. So got a, just a small pile up. The 36 involved as well. And Green nearly goes upside down. Got on his side. More more cars piling in than Joe Jefferson. Man, like majority was in it. Yeah, the 36, the 42, the 18, the 9. Who else? The 10 and the 32. So only the three and the three and the eleven. There we go. So there's the first caution of the day. Two wrecks and a lot of playoff drivers involved. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. So Noodles is out and Joe Jefferson is out. And as well Joshua Rush, Luke Sasser, and Aaron Carlson. Next up is North Wilkes Road Speedway, going to be running there under the lights. Our final short track race of the season. After that, it'll be Chicagoland for the round of eight, for the end of the round of eight. Green flag. And of course, Daytona. We never had a play track in the Cup Series or and in the National Series as the season finale. And Daytona's never hosted... Wait. I don't think Daytona ever hosted any season finale in any series. We had Talladega before. And here goes Kenny Johnson. Back to the race lead. There's the 11. Can he punch his ticket? And get Joe Gibbs two straight championships. I don't think it's ever happened. And the same car as well. That 11 team was winless last season, but they got the big trophy. Ryan Butcher was able to score two wins so far. Because he had to get win number three. And this third win could be a ticket to a championship. Meaning that, well, he, he will be in the championship four, but he could have two bad races if he doesn't get this win here at Texas. It'll haunt him. Three car avoided that wrecked and he was pretty high up the field. There's the nine car. Despite damage, he's still running in 11th and the 51 has pulled off and looks like he has issues with his race car. He'll make an unscheduled stop. Derek Edison got very little damage from that wreck. Probably just got a couple scratches and dents. But that's it. Edison, the most consistent driver all season long, as we know. He has not really been in danger of being eliminated at all. But he has been up there contending for wins. But still good enough to make it into the next round and not be in danger at all. See up there, Sanchez is retaking the lead. Edison finding hard trying to get to the 9 car if he can. That 9 is wicked fast to have a really crushed in rear. Uh, the rear bumper and deck lid and everything. That thing is still going. He's still passing cars and still staying with the pack. Or maybe it's the package. Maybe. Kenny Johnson back to the front. The 43 fighting for his third win. He almost got it as well. Almost at Dover. Fight hard for Tony Green and almost swept over there. How about the race? Well, North Wilkesboro's up next and he won that race too. Should expect the 43 to be up there. Maybe, maybe not. I like in a row in the 24 now making moves. An up and down season for the 24 team. They were there in the playoffs and then they dropped out and could not recover. Currently I like Zenero is in 28th in points, down 5. Marcus Attachi in the 21. Swapped over to the Wood Brothers car. Drove the 4 last season. Another driver who we all thought that would make it into the playoffs easy. As he did make it into the last round. And I mentioned the Kansas win. And yeah, that four car was strong last season. At the Kansas race. And here comes Tony Newman. Eliminated from the first round. But they could still fight for fifth. So still keep going. Keep pushing. I'll push no matter what. Joshua Sicily. Two wins. But no playoffs. Brad Chesson in the one. High expectations. Could not deliver. 
but he's got himself a win in the Cup Series. So now all the cars are now one big pack. We can see who's fast and who's slow. There's a 48. Who worked early in Kansas, got taken out, got flipped over. He leads the second pack. Mitchell Collins not playing nice with the 19, trying to spin him out off of two. There's a three car. Playing it a little bit safe. He should be fast enough, but he might have been got held up by these slower cars. Still got time. We're about 10 laps away from the stage, and we got the 53 car, Francis Haas, in the way. Now, what has happened to that 53 team? They're, well, not on top, but they're pretty high up. And now they're running lower than their teammate, Blaze Ivatar. Holds up the 32. Uh, that helps the second pack to join in. Costly for the 32 car. He goes to the top. Can get past. Not only lose a spot, but lose a spot to another playoff contender. Patrick Mew led that last one around. Any more slow cars? 38 out like he's up next. Nearly gets spun around. Michael Collins tried to go through the middle, but just found a gap on the inside. Just made it. After Mew getting that one win at Gateway. What a race that was. It currently leads. Here at Texas by Ryan Butcher. It's going to take it away from him. Well, not for long. Here comes Michael Collins in the two. Homestead and Denver Roval winner. Had the only two only wins for Penske till Carrie Love got her first win at uh, Kansas just recently. Just now. Well, obviously it was the last race. 38. Oh man, two car slides up. He wants to take the outside. That might have been not a good idea. He'll have to sac he'll sacrifice the lead to Kenny Johnson. Oaks in the double zero to third. Alexander Rowe. Brad Cheston, Fitzwater Sr., Marcus Atachi. Fitzwater scored two wins for that four team, but as like Francis Hawes, he's been nowhere near the top 16. When he got the CTM, like one of Kenny and Zara, it looks like he was going to make it pull off the impossible, near impossible. 22 car, well, he's the only Penske car not to get a win. Trying to change that here today. So far, Rick Rare Racing out of all teams. Uh, let's see. Okay, so we have also Chip Ganassi. So who else? Which other team that's got wins with all cars? Well, of course, multi car teams, not just one, because, yeah, for obvious reasons. Yeah, I think only two two teams, yeah. Only two teams. Rick Rare Racing. Still so weird, even, even in, in our world. And... What else did I say? Right, the... the Chip, Chip can I see there. So I believe Tony Newman is the only Stuart Haas car. No, no, no. Carter Joey as well. Right. How can I forget that? So Collins is the only Penske car uh, for Henrik, Pipe Race Vito, and how am I forgetting this? So easy. Alexander Rowe. Uh, Joe Gibbs only has Max Anderson, who has been winless. Oh, and a 19, right? All right, Tony Newman has a one. So, so Newman and Carter Joe. Did I say the 14 and the 10? Okay, I'm getting I'm confused myself with this stuff. Well, they've been pretty clean, despite you know, all going three wide, a lot of action, side by side, swapping the lead every single lap. Almost as a stage here comes the 43. Gonna steal some stage points here, or steal a playoff, potential playoff point. Here comes the 11, hard charging. Still got two laps left in the stage. You really want to take the lead now? I don't think he has a choice, because he's on the inside. He just can't slow down and hold everyone back. might be able to hang on. 
We'll see. They almost got the stage at Richmond. They almost got the win overall at Richmond. Try not to finish second again. Alright. So, as always, oh, nine cars on pit road. Got the left side jacked up. There's a raid on Francis Hawes. Sanchez in the 47, now taking the lead. Aaron Jones Steele in the 96 coming in. See if we can take this stage win away. Alright, should be about the time. It'll be one to go this time, but. So here they come. Oh, Aaron John Steele literally gets turned, but still gets the stage win going through the grass. 48 and 1 are also in the grass. Wow. Reminiscence of a dual race a few seasons ago. I think it was season 6? Around there? Yeah. So Aaron John Steele wins a wild stage. Michael Collins, second. Piper is your third. Zachary Fitzwater Sr., fourth. Stepan Oaks, fifth. Uh, Hilly Sanchez, sixth. Kenny Johnson, seventh. Ryan Butcher, eighth. Derek Edison, ninth. And 43, tenth. So only two playoff drivers getting stage points here. The 11 and the 32. They're all the favorites, anyways. And uh, actually, we'll take a look at the 96 there. All right, two car. Michael Collins, he wanted that stage when he got right underneath. Never let up. Got that 96 car sideways and went right through the grass. Get a little bit of a speed boost. See the 40 and the 1. Yeah, clearly the 96 got the stage win there. Whoops. What did it? Well, actually, let's take a look at the 48 and the 1. These guys got together, come on off a of 4. See the 1 came up. Similar to the 9 and the 77. At least they didn't wreck. I think they even picked up spots by doing that. Yeah, they got by the 8 car. I think the 40 got by the 8. Did the 1 do it? Oh, it was 14th at the line. I think 16th. Yeah, they... Uh, hey, wow, J.J. wasn't passing the 8 car right through the grass. With help from Brad Chester, but he didn't get it. He almost did. How close was that? The photo finish for 16th or 15th right there. 8 gets it, 48 beats the 8, but the 8 beats the 1. Alright, I'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, getting ready for the green. So a camshaft on the 51, our first mechanical failure today, but so far, every car has uh, been issue free. Or, I don't know, it's about a 9 car, one a lap down, if only he pitted a, a lap later, would have stayed on lead lap since he had a pit stall after the start finish line. Max Anderson, I like to see Francis Hall, he'll be racing with them. 30 cars remain on the lead lap. Aaron John Steele, Michael Collins, Pipe Brazil, Zachary Fitzwater Sr., and Stephen Oaks, your top five. Pace cars in, here we go. Green flag, we're back underway. And a great start for the two. Peeking to the inside. Johnny Fifth gonna let him go here. Eighty-eight and a four. No oh, contact. Oh, there they go. Up the racetrack they go, and Pipe Brazil takes the lead. Zachary Fitzwater Senior will say thank you very much. He leads the lap. Just got him though. And that was for the win. That'll be incredible. Three wide, Stephen Oaks through the middle, still searching for that first victory. Ryan Butcher, that 11 car just wants to stay up front. He just cannot stay in the pack. His car is just too fast. And there's your fastest laps. Should be uh, pretty close. 29 5, 11, 31, 33. The tray right has the slowest lap time. I don't think they'll be going any faster than that. Here comes the 21. 
Did he get inside? And don't think he let it. Yes, he did actually. How oh, close? Three one thousands. They tend to get real tight off to the leader. Oh, trouble, trouble, trouble! Oh, can they save it? I don't think so. The one. There they go. Oh, that doesn't look good already. 17 and 24. Clip just touches the apron. Here they come to the yellow flag. Looks like the 27 will take it. Alright, yellow flag is out for the third time. We'll take a look at the replay. Addison making an aggressive move through the middle. Brad Cheston and uh, looks like he came up. Just, just not enough room there. No way. Addison did not back out. Neither the chest. So Oaks, but then uh, Oaks uh, got through. The one just goes slamming into the inside wall, collects the 19. The three misses it, the 12 and the six. Big hit. And one car, of course, is destroyed as well as the 19 and the six. And they slide down, Trey right. So Stevens there, the 10 misses it. Kyle gets launched in the air, going upside down. The one nearly goes up and over. 34 and 38. Makes some uh, big hits on them as well. 77, 95, 42, and we are third one. Right on board here. 10 missed it big time, my god. Just missed it, whoa. Green missed the first one, but then Stevens got it in his way. And then he got nails hard on the right side. One more time, let's see the onboard from the 10. A little bit too much there. How close was he from launching that 95 into the catch fencing? Oh, he was close from 2. I think he was closer to the 19 than he was the 95. Take a look. Got right there. Look how close it was. If he was a bit slower, but further back, that 10 would have been knocked into the 95. Maybe. My god. The luck on that 10 car. Used to be the opposite. So huge wreck, taking out a lot of cars. The big one, here at Texas. I'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out, here we go. Matt Haas out for the mechanical. For 24 cars now remain. There's a lot of free spots for the nine. So there's the other drivers. Green is out. Randolph is out. Trey Wright, Brad Cheston. 19, Chris Kyle, Stevens, Legacy, and Anderson. Here we go, getting ready for the restart. Green flag is out, here we go. And what a start for the 27. Seventeen coming in. He won the truck race here. And he's looking to get a cup win here at Texas. He gets help from a another four that's only one. Yeah everyone pinching the inside, pinching that white line. And there they go, three wide. Edison, aggressive today, wanted to take that medal and he took the medal and almost took himself out. But he's still running, could still win this race and punch his ticket into the round of four. Ryan Butcher has been strong all day long, that 11 car. Always going up to the front, every time he falls back, a few laps later, you see that FedEx Toyota coming right back into the picture. 43 has been strong too. Trying to get his third win. Still nobody. We're 40 races in. About well, 39 races on our 40th. And no one has scored their third. No one. No one looking for his first of the season. And 
here comes Edison in the 32 car. See back here, 10, 41, and 3. 3 is slow. I think the damage from, from that wreck did slow him down big time. Carter Joey, Sammy Sabre. Caution! Oh, big wreck. I think the leaders are in it. Yeah, Michael Collins, we see spun around with damage. Fourth of the day. Yeah, with 10 laps to go, Kenny Johnson's our leader. We'll take a look at the replay. Every time we take our eyes off the leaders, something happens to them. How about at the Roval? It's Johnson, he goes up, gets an Edison, gets him sideways, and spins him right around while leading. You already know what I'm going to say. Imagine this was coming to the checkers. Alexander Rowe, big hit on right on the driver's door. Ryan Butcher in the 11. So two strong, the strongest drivers of today's race, out of the playoff drivers, get taken out with 10 to go. Oh, this can change a lot right here. Yeah, that was a big hit. We don't know how badly the damage can be until we see them. Let's run board with Alexander Rowe. Large well, is getting turned around, or almost getting turned around, coming off of four. The 11 probably got the... Maybe the worst of that, because he did hit the 32 pretty hard. Not a lot of nose damage, or maybe I'm just seeing things. Let's see that again. Oh, he hit more on the right side. Oh, yes. That, uh... That could be very detrimental to the 11. 17, nearly you know, puts him back on the wall, puts him in the wall. Well, that's not all. Hyder, our third third player driver, also uh, wants to join in. Looks like, uh, who did he hit? He hit his teammate? I think he hit his teammate. Uh, no, he didn't hit his teammate either. Oh, he hit the 52 car. And then the 22 as well. And did the 12 car get in? No, wow. Millimeters right there. We'll take you back to the restart. Lights are out and Tony Newman in the 14 has gone up in smoke. Ryan Butcher as well has is out of the race as a 24. Tough for the 11 and tough for the tw uh, 14 of Tony Newman. He had a strong car all day as well, running up front. Was in second. That's three now. All but Toyota so far. So Chevy and Ford having their issues. But their strongest Toyota is out of the race. The 11. And I cannot wait to see how the points are going to be like after this. Green flag. So our highest running playoff driver is not even in the top 10 anymore. Yeah, 22 expected slow restart. Eric Edison. No, it's Sammy Saber. No, no, it's the 3 car. Okay. Yep, that, uh... That one wreck right there. Well, not for long. 32 still fast. Three cars slow. 10 trying to get by him on the outside. There's Edison. They had the pit to cut off the back end. Hyder still a lap down. Look at Edison. He's still pushing. He's still faster than these guys. Here comes Carter Joey. Uh oh. That's another Stuart Haas car. Dota 32, it's got three cars to pass. Hello, nine, one left down. Back to the front. And not many, many contenders left after that crash. Aaron John still going for his second win, as well as the 17. Joey's coming back out. Got a lap down. That helped the 9 car. One extra spot. So Texas has not been kind to the playoff drivers. Thirty two getting taken out while leading, collecting the 11. It's just going to be those two that had a chance to win, and a better chance to win. While the rest needed a green-white checkered or a super miracle. 
43 down there, but here comes Kenny Johnson. Ellie Sanchez also searching for win number three. Got one two laps to go. It's just down to these uh, eight drivers, it looks like. Well, two cars fading back a tiny bit. Damage isn't slowing him down, although he is running at the back and last, last of the pack. Stepan Oaks is eighth. He's two and a half seconds back to the leaders. These guys picked up a lot of damage. Sanchez to the lead. But can she hold on as they come to the white flag? Marcus is actually right behind. White flag, one more lap to go. 21. Gets down to the inside. Here comes the 17. Three wide almost. About there. 21 clears. 17 down on the inside. Slow car to three. Very slow. Oh, this is going to be trouble. Nope, he's out of the way. So just trouble for those guys at the back. The 96 squeezes through. Mark Satachi is going to win here at Texas. Oh, I failed on that. What the hell? Things not working. There we go. Finally to 21. Gets the win. I thought the three cars death was going to cause a mess. But luckily he didn't. We'll take a look at the full race results now. So, Marcus Zetchi scores the win here at Texas. Patrick Mew second. The 43 cars third. Hillary Sanchez fourth. Fitzwater Sr. fifth. Aaron John Thiel sixth. Kenny Johnson seventh. Michael Collins eighth. Piper Zero ninth. Josh Silly getting tenth. The, ha the highest uh, is the tennis Sammy Sabre Jr. Oh my oh, Edison was a lap down. I didn't even notice. And yeah. So Sammy Sabre Jr. So he'll he'll still be the points leader, I think. Even Edison got stage points. He finished 14, Edison finished 19th, and he only scored two stage points, I believe. Uh, Kerry Love, uh, no, I was saying Kerry Love. Uh, Derek Edison is 19th, uh, Hyder finished 21st. Uh, New had a cam shot, I don't know that's what happened to him. Ryan Butcher 23rd, Green 26th. Uh, then it was Joe Jefferson 38th, Nudos 40th. Oh yeah, and Grayson Isvito was 17th, he just got put a lap down. Right, the last second, the last quarter. No, I'm not missing anyone, right? Okay. But anyway, so that's it here today at Texas. Marcus Attachi is the race winner. When well, I'll take you to victory lane.